What's up guys? So today I thought I'd try something a little bit different with my channel and if I like this and if you guys like this then uh, this will probably become a more regular thing. I'll probably have more odd wear if you will, more weird stuff like this that I'll review and take apart and stuff like that. So uh, let's just get started. So today I have an iCraig 14 inch high definition swim book. Dual core. Of course it has it in different languages here. And over here it advertises various features on the box. As you can see it has the old style Google Play logo. So we can assume that, especially based on the screenshot, I would say ice cream sandwich or jelly bean. Uh, I'm looking at that battery logo. I'm thinking maybe Jelly Bean. And over here we have a Wi-Fi logo. We have old Google logo, all old logos. Google Plus, ha! Back when they were trying to push that. I wish Google Plus could take it off. YouTube, Chrome, Gmail, Google Maps, Hangouts, Camera in three different languages. And calendar in three different languages. Very interesting, because all of the other ones are just in English. And on this side of the box, that's what that looks like. And as far as I can tell at first glance, the other side looks exactly the same. And that pretty much does as well, just different pictures. But, we open this up. <laughs> this is such over-the-top packaging for such a terrible device. So we have various icons here. They advertise a few strange things like Aldico Premium. I don't even know what that is. And Dropbox and Messenger and uh, various things like that. As you can see, this is basically trying to be a MacBook knockoff. Now on the box here, it advertises that it has stereo speakers. So we shall find out if these are actually stereo. Now this unit is used. And so, I don't know the condition or anything other than the fact that the backlight seems to not be working properly. I have opened this up, but I put everything back. I just plugged it in. Tried to power it up, and I think the backlight is dead. Go so here, I will open the box here. It's a boring unboxing. Okay, so, here you have your power adapter. Pretty tiny power adapter because this is basically a really low end phone in laptop form. And then we can just pull this guy out. Pull that off. <laughs> As you can see, somebody hand wrote iCraig on it. Now it has been used, obviously. This is all scratched up and stuff. But most of the scratches, in fact pretty much all of them, are on this protective plastic that was never removed by the previous user. So that is very interesting. Now when we flip this over, there's a few other interesting things. Whoops, not that way, that way. <laughs> um, so I did remove a few screws already, and I noticed that they were different sizes, and I had forgotten to make a note of those sizes and where they went. So I don't know if these are the original screws I pulled out, but we will find out. But these two screw holes at the top did not have screws in them. And I can sort of see something clunking around inside there. And like, there were tabs here that were not clipped in and I pushed them in. So basically somebody had opened this before. So we will find out what that's about. So I will go ahead and continue removing the rest of the screws. Alright, so now I have all the remaining screws loosened. And I will now remove the back of the laptop. And, uh, I'll try not to lose the screws here. I wanted to open it for the first time 
on video, so I've never actually looked inside this thing. So, let's hope I don't lose tons of screws. Let's hope the battery isn't... Yep, I'm gonna have to peek under here. So I'll make sure there's not a battery glued. Okay, we're fine. Oop! There it goes. Oh well. So what are we having here? Well, we do in fact have stereo speaker. We have a lithium-ion battery. Let me turn the thing around. 5,500 milliamp hour. Here, let me get that out. Alright. Well, this battery, so for all the complaining that I and many others like to do about smartphones not having equally removable batteries, well, I would say this is too easily removable. In fact... No, that's still sticky. Wow, that's just pretty terrible. But hey, look at that battery. If nothing else, I can probably use that battery for something. So let's just disconnect that battery right to begin with. Put that battery over there. So, let's look, look at what we have. Alright, now, I just realized I forgot to show you the inside of it. Meaning, the other side. The outside, if you... <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so I am gonna flip this over and show that to you. Normally, I wouldn't just do that with a laptop, but... Under the circumstances. So, here's the inside. It very much is a MacBook knockoff. And it has stuff printed over here. It has your power button and your DC in jack, your HDMI, as you can see right there. And then over here you have two full-size USB ports, a headphone jack, a separate microphone in jack, which for something like this looks really interesting and an SD card slot, and you have to have a webcam. Alright, now back to the teardown. Alright, so that's the main board. This has the CPU, or the SOC rather, and the RAM, and all that, and uh, that looks like that would be memory right there. I do not yet know how many giggity bytes this thing has. Uh, let's see, there's a Toshiba chip, could be flash, but I would think that, oh yeah, that would be the flash chip, those would be RAM chips, yep. Before I continue, I need to say my camera here is not focusing very well on this shot for some reason, so please pardon that issue. Here you have a flat flex cable going over to what I suspect is the video driver, or rather the display driver board. That pretty much looks like what that would be. So we will have to just unplug that, and that, and that, and plug it back in, and see if that fits with it. And over here we basically have a USB hub with a headphone jack and the microphone jack, which is really strange, again. And here, of course, is the SD card slot. Here is what is likely a Wi-Fi antenna. It might be a Bluetooth antenna, but I do not know for sure. And as you can see, there is extra added weight here. They put metal just to make it weigh more. And this thing is still very light. This is like one of the lightest laptops laptop that you'll ever see. So here's the cable in which the power for the backlight goes through. So I'm gonna pull back this tape, if I can, without covering everything. I need to get a proper tripod here. <laughs> I really do. And there, there's something under there. I do not want to break that. 
Okay, so we're sure that that's the same one, so I'm not going to pull off the tape anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to re or rather, just unplug and plug it back in again, that flat flex cable. And for good measure, because this goes over here, and that goes over here, and that goes over there. Just so I don't do a stupid and think I'm unplugging the backlight, then I'll just re this one as well. Wow, that thing took way longer than I thought it would to get back in there. But it's back in there now. So, I'll take the battery and I will put it back where it belongs. Press down. Good amount. But not too hard. And then I'll just plug that right back in there. So now, I'll put this back on. Get that all squared out. Okay, how many screws did I lose? Okay, I put a few screws in, but I don't think I'll put all the screws in just yet because I want to be able to open it up again if I feel the need. The cord was not long enough for my glorious system here, so I had to turn around and sit in the chair that I was filming in, so I feel a lot more comfortable now. But anyway, so you plug it in, these lights turn on no matter what, pretty much. I don't know why I pressed that. So, let's turn on the power. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see, I Craig. Yeah, it's the same issue as before. So unfortunately, that's where I'm going to have to leave this. I was hoping to get this going a bit further, and maybe I will at a further date. But for now, this will have to do it for this, so I we at least got to see what it looked like inside and see the horribleness of it all.